Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 335. Uh, it's a medium level problem and the accuracy also seems to be pretty low. Uh, let's see why that is. So the problem name is kth largest sum in a binary tree. So you are given the root of a binary tree and a positive integer k. The level sum in the tree is the sum of the values of the nodes that are on the same level. Return the kth largest level sum in the tree, not necessarily distinct if there are fewer than k levels in the tree return minus one note that two nodes uh, are on the same level if they have the same distance from the root right so first thing is um, what is the level so this is a tree so this is suppose level zero these two nodes are level one these three nodes are at level two these four nodes are level one two three and so on right so this is what level means that's the first thing now what do you need to do you need to find the sum of nodes at each level. So for example, at this level, the sum of nodes is five. At this, it's 17, right? At this, it's 13 and at this, it's 10. So first you find this, okay? Now what do you need to do? You need to return the kth largest level sum, okay? So five, 17, 13 and 10. Amongst this, I want to find the second largest number, okay? So this is the largest number. What is the second largest number? This, so you need to return three. 13 sorry that's your answer okay that's what the problem is asking you to so uh, fine okay for this level sum is one this is two this is three now this guy wants to find the largest number k equals to one so you return three simple however if k would have been four so what we would have returned so we only have uh, what do you call it three levels right we can only have um so for n numbers, you can have the largest number, you can have the second largest number, you can have the third largest number, you can have the n th nth largest number, you cannot have the n plus one th largest number, right? That is not possible among the among um, if we if, if we just have a set of n numbers, right? So that means whenever <coughs> k is uh, greater than uh, the number of levels you have, you simply return minus one. Okay, that's the trick here. Uh, I think that is the uh, that's the point that people have missed and that is why the accuracy is pretty low. But yeah, uh, let's see how to solve this problem. So it's a totally implementation based problem. <coughs> no, uh, not much of a logic involved here. So if I show you, the first thing that I do is I call a function traverse root zero. Okay, if you guys are familiar with tree traversal, then this will be I would say sort of a cakewalk for you. So you pass the root, you pass the level. If root equals to level, uh, level uh, null, sorry, you return, you return. Else, what do you do? So you take a map. Uh, you, you you take a map where what you are doing for each level, you are storing the sum of the nodes. Okay, how you are traversing? So you start from here. You start from here. Here your level equals to zero. Now when you move to the left child, you make your level zero plus one. Then again, you move to the right child. So from whichever level you move to the right child, whatever is the current level, you uh, add plus one and pass it to the recursive function. Okay. So that's how you do the traversal. Now, if in my hash map, I have the current level. If I don't have the current level, put it into the map with a sum of zero right now. Okay. This is just for uh, better readability. Now, sum dot put level, sum dot get level plus one. That means whatever is the previous sum at this level, add root dot val into that and put it into my map okay now go to the left child and the right child okay so once you call this function what will happen you will have a map where for each level you have you'll have the sum of the nodes at that particular level okay this is done now what i've done i've taken a priority queue and again there can be multiple ways to solve it but this was the easiest way that i found out during the contest so that is why i've written it okay you take a priority queue and here in the priority queue, I've written collections dot reverse order because I want it to be a max priority queue, meaning I want the maximum value to be at the top. By default, this is the, uh, the priority queue comparator is, comparator is a main priority queue. Here I've made it a <laughs> max priority queue. Okay. Now what do you do? You put all the sum, all the levels there. Okay. So for every level, whatever is the sum, put it into the priority queue. You have done that. Initially, as your answer by minus one. Now, while k is greater than zero, and priority queue is not empty keep on pulling the elements from the uh, what do you call it priority queue and decrement k now once you come out of the loop there can be two possibilities either you have so one possibility is you have consumed all the elements of priority queue and k is not equal to zero that means the number of levels is less than what my k value is in that in that case you return minus one and the the, the uh, a happy case is that your k has become zero your k has become zero that means you have got that particular k 
kth largest number and you return your answer okay so that's it what this problem is asking and i would say the accuracy would have been low because of maybe data type because here we need to need to use long because the sum of the nodes can go beyond integer data type okay you can see the return type is long here and why it can go beyond integer data type because each node can have a value of 10 raised to power 6 and the number of nodes uh, can be 10 raised to power 5 obviously not every node will come here but even at the last level even at the last level if you have i would say 10 raised to power 4 nodes or something like that uh, that will go beyond the integer data type so right because we want to calculate the sum right so that's the thing so yeah that's it for this problem hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries uh, please add that into the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye